welcome to Dear Namaste. My name is Dear and I want to send you love, light and peel crystal heart from me to you and hope that you stay safe with everything that's going on in the world. Uh, I just want you guys to have angels protecting you all the way till forever and ever. Yes, today is a little bit darker. Normally my channel is very um, popping with colors and flowers and very uh, springtime video a little bit but today I am doing a, li a little bit darker theme because we are today doing Harry Potter style witches yeah so we're gonna do that today today I have a magic crystal ball it's kind of small but it's very very cute um, I'm gonna be letting you choose your own magic crystal ball in this Harry Potter reading, okay? So, I also have an announcement that I will be giving a discount on my private reading because it's quarantine time and I want to be able to help you guys in some way if you are stressed about your situation right now, you know. Um, for me, doing this call for you guys is like for me to give back to you guys for, you know, helping my channel and watch my video. Um, just click on the description box, you can see um, the private reading and some of the reading is 50% discount so it's a really good uh, deal for you and the biggest discount is 50% discount as well so if you stress and I'm not sure about your future you can uh, do private reading with me as well with special discount um, also if you are interested in winning a free reading giveaway at the end of each month you can um, look into the description box as well all you have to do is be subscriber and click like and comment under the video of the month that you wish to enter the free reading giveaway or you can go over on instagram for two chances of winning this free reading giveaway because i will give one winner from youtube and one winner from instagram first before we go into the reading we gonna do love yourself affirmation this to open up your heart chakra. Please repeat after me. I choose to stop apologizing for myself and for being me. I let go of negative self-talk. I believe in me. My life is a place of happiness and love. I love the person that I am. I say no with ease. I am more than a body. I am not my mistakes. I am growing and learning each and every day. I lovingly embrace all my fears. Thank you for doing that with me. As you can see, today is a little bit like a darker theme and uh, I want to use the crystal ball as a guidance for this reading okay so each pile have their own color of crystal ball okay so the first one we have a purplish color crystal ball okay i don't i'm not sure whether you can see the purple like light purple color but it's very very beautiful like it's really clear um and the second part we have pink, like a light pink color crystal ball. I hope you can see them. Yes, okay. Pink, like a light pink pastel color. Right here. And the third part we have a yellow crystal ball, okay? Yellow crystal balls. And then the 
fourth part, we have a clear one. Clear crystal ball, okay? A clear color. Very beautiful, okay. And then the fifth one, we have a blue color crystal ball, okay? A blue color crystal ball. It's very pretty. Okay, pick the powder that calling your name the most, you know, like pick the powder that is resonating with you, pick the powder that, you know, if you don't like picking with the crystal ball, you can pick the powder instead, like choose the powder that calling your name the most. And I will see you on the other side. Bye! Okay, for people who are picking powder number one, who will you marry? A Harry Potter style? What magic they have over you? What magic you have over them? And what is their special power? What is your future spouse special power? Okay, let's see what's the reading gonna be. Okay, now let's see what house are you in Harry Potter movie, okay? Let's see what house are you or your future spouse will be in your Harry Potter. So, your house will be Gryffindor. You might belong to Gryffindor, where dwell and brave at heart. Their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindors apart. Gryffindors are known for their leadership. They achieve things through bravery instead of hard work. This bravery can sometimes border on recklessness. Though like those Gryffindors always put forth efforts toward noble causes, the Gryffindor type personality is ESTP and ESFP, friendly, adaptable, action oriented, focused on immediate result, royal. ESPF, people oriented, fun loving, like to be central attention, social, practical, enter of attention, social, and practical. I have chosen two houses because one could be representing your house and one could be representing your future spouse house, okay? Because like maybe you guys are not in the same house. But it depends if you resonate to which house especially, then you're probably in that house, okay? The other house you have, or you maybe, maybe like they have the personality of uh, two houses. Okay, you got Ravenclaw. Look to wise or Ravenclaw. If you have ready mind, where those of wits and learning will always find their kinds. As intellectual, thoughtful people, Ravenclaw take their inspiration from nature, book, and themselves. Those personality type or cherish learning originality, both of idea and people. INTJ, independent. Original, analytical, determined, competent, drive driven, INTP, logical, original, creative, thinker, exceptional, capable, quiet, quiet, private, individualistic. So if you feel more related to Raven Call, you probably feel like you are in Raven Call or I feel like for this reading is it's very general reading, so I would say like your future spouse would probably have both personality from the two houses or maybe just one of them in particular, okay? Now let's look at which Harry Potter character is your future spouse. Uh, I have chosen four character, so it will be a little bit mix of um, personality, but I will say that the reason I pick four characters because if they have one characteristic that like these four people share in common and this probably is your future spouse characteristic as well. First one you have, Neville. So for Neville, 
is ISFJ personality. ISFJ are usually warm, well-meaning people and highly observant. Like all ISFJs, Neville can be a little shy at first, but he's willing to fight a snake with a magical sword if it means defending the people he cares about. He values stability and will try very hard to keep the peace and make things right again when they thrown out of whack. And the second person you have, Harmonia. Harmony, INTP personality, are known for their intellect, their passion, and their unequitably thirst for knowledge. South Fimula Harmonia has the smart, serious exterior of INTP as well as the intense drive to learn everything and solve all the problem. She inventive and logical, quick to correct others. She cares deeply about what she does and she has that classic INTP crippling fear of failure. The third one you have, Hagrid. Hagrid. Hagrid is a classic ISFP, loving, loyal, and tad on sensitive side. He value his privacy, especially about his parentage, sticks to his principle, and doesn't like to be boxed in by social convention. What everyone else see as monsters. Hagrid see as cute. He's affectionate with his loved one, no matter how many eyes or legs they might have. Okay, and the fourth one is Cedric. Cedric ISTP, coordinated, rational, and naturally perceptive by system in his external environment. Cedric was an excellent example of ISTP personality. His natural is inclinations towards crackling codes and summon physical obstacles made him a shoe in for tri wizard tournament until of course he died in it. I'm not saying that your future spouse will die in a young age, but Cedric is very hot. <laughs> okay, um, now let's look at the general reading for your future spouse. Uh, I got a staff, stability, wish towel of the south, summer, autumn, Prosperity, the cat in the garden, the baby water cat, high priest, and death. Wow, death again. Hmm. Okay. Now let's look at what is their special power. I use a dragon card to represent this, okay? So their special power is ghosts. And the second one is multitasking okay so in general your future spouse i have a feeling especially if you've got a dog like like these people like these people even harmonia is like she harmony <laughs> even harmonia if if i say the name wrong it's because just like my english is not my first language i'm so sorry for the people who are living the harry potter book if i say the name wrong okay so i feel like um you guys got a group of Harry Potter people who are very kind-hearted, who are very 
um, let's say people what people see from the outside is not what them on the inside you know what I mean like for example Hagrid he's very big very like if you look from far away you think that he's very scary or Neville or even uh, you know harmonious like uh, they look a little bit nerdy at the front they don't like they, they can look very uh different from what they are really inside even Cedric like he look very hot he like very popular but she that the inside he's very uh nice person he's very he's still helping Harry when he was like having a competition so I feel like also in a way I feel like the reason we got summer and autumn because summer is like so so much different than autumn that's why I feel like and also you have a lot of death so I feel like like your future spouse probably have a lot of mood within them like it's because people are seeing them of what not they are so sometimes they misunderstood they being misunderstood and that's making them feel like uh, people don't understand them so when they think that people don't understand them so they always think that it's very hard to find someone that matching them so when you first met them at first when you met them they probably show a different side or maybe they give off different side but then you get to know them more clear like you get to them longer and deeper you know that they are totally different person than you thought they are and I also feel like um, they are such a deep thinker person I feel like they would be very hard for them to open up I feel like it's gonna take you a while for them to show themselves to you to really like show you who they really are and I also have a feeling that you you may like that because of their looks sometimes you may think that they are um, not as uh, uh, clever or not as capable as a person you know like they uh, for example like Hagrid like you think that he's just a janitor or like just people who like cleaning things up around the school but actually he's have a lot of knowledge in like those like creatures those like you know animals and he have a lot of knowledge in that so like there's a lot like you know like even Neville like people think that he's not brave but actually he's really brave you know like there's like that twist about like this person and I feel like your person your future spouse they are a smart person they are very clever because you got Ravenclaw right Ravenclaw they are very smart people like all the smart people like go to this house and you know Gryffindor they are very brave as well so it's kind of like um, people underestimated them but when they really show themselves people are really surprised by them okay and I feel like their life their that journey haven't been that stable I feel like the future spouse that they are looking is someone who can stabilize them because I feel like probably in their family life is kind of like or maybe in their like personal life it's kind of like up and down all the time and I feel like they are looking for people who are very stable um, especially for their partner as well people they can anchor their peace to okay and I also feel like they have a really high goal for themselves I feel like they want to reach um, the best in that area okay so I feel like they are really good at like they're very goal focused they are very you know very multitasking they can do a lot of things like their special power their magic is that they're, they're setting goals and reach them and multitasking they're very good at multitasking like harmonious she's very good at like multitasking everything so i feel like your your future spouse special power is multitasking and go setting goal and achieving them okay and they will be able to achieve that goal i feel like your future spouse at the older age of their life they will reach everything that they have set their goals to and they will be very prosperous as well I have a feeling of like abundance and um, they can especially finances or like structurally they are very abundance at the end because they have that unstability in their life when they were younger I feel like they don't have that stability so when they grown up they want to have that stability if they don't have that when they were young like money then they will have a lot of stability about money or if they don't have a struck like they don't have a stable family life then at the end of their life they will have a really stability life they will have a really stable life in their 
home okay so that is a general reading for your future spouse now let's get what magic they have over you okay what's magic they have over you i use um dragon card to represent this wow you got the hermit page of sword Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So while I feel like your future spouse probably going to have a lot of Earth side energy within them, so Virgo. Taurus and Capricorn in them. They're thriving to have a successful life. I feel like your future spouse will be very successful in terms of career, business, and financial in the like end of their life. And they'll be able to retire early because they have a lot of things, like they have goals and then they, they run with it and they achieve it. Okay, your future spouse will be like that. Their magic over you is that they'll be able to give you that comfort. They'll be able to give you that, uh, comfortability of um maybe you you can be stay at home mom or dad like you don't have to work so hard like your future as well probably have the magic of advising you how to run business or how to reach your goal okay because they are very good at reaching their goals they're, they're very clever they're very they probably like reading book and they probably love a lot of knowledge so i feel like they probably teach you a lot of knowledge about that. I feel like you will fall in love with their brains. You will fall in love with their achievement. You will fall in love the magic that they have over you is that they are really clever person. They are very a stable person as well. Like I know um maybe like in the past or in their like family life they're not stable, but their energy is giving you stability, like they strive for that so when you are with them you feel this stability like you never feel like this person is a fuck boy or fuck girl like you always feel like this person love me the only one this person like gonna be there for me with me forever they love giving gift to you that magic over you i think most of the time it's because they are very like they are very um what's it like like boy boss girl boss like they are very uh they were aspiring like even people around you around them or also around you as well when they meet this person your future as well they very people are aspired by him because he probably like some of your future spouse will start from zero and build themselves up to be very great so that is very aspiring for people or they probably have a secret project that people aspiring to be like them okay so the magic that they have over you is that they are very good at working hard they set goals and they always achieve them and they always like try to help you as well they will like teach you they will like uh you know give you advice about many things and you'll be very surprised with some of the knowledge they have like normally you know some people will only know one area subject but i feel like your future star will know a lot of things this could have like a gemini energy as well a gemini energy um that know a lot of knowledge like very good at knowledge and they probably like person who have a lot of knowledge as well but then now we have to look at what magic you have over them okay let me open the card King of Sword, Four of Cup, The Star, Page of Pentacle, and Page of Cup. 
So your magic over them is that you are such a sparkle energy. Like when, when they are around you, they feel this happiness, they feel this joy, and they feel like like you are the guiding star to them. For example, like they feel like you are the ultimate goal for them, okay? Like when they see you for the first time, they mesmerize by you and they think that this person will be my goal. This person will be my bride. I have a feeling that they feel like that. Or if, even if they don't feel like they want to marry you at first, they're gonna feel like they can't like stop talking to you like they they like it, they it would be them miss opportunity not connecting with you okay and some of you that are watching this gonna be aquarius like air sign energy because i have a lot of energy about air sign energy as well because it's about knowledge and about information and a lot of air sign people we love to i say we because i am also aquarius we love information so um I feel like yeah, some of you will be air sign as well, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. I feel like they're gonna mesmerize your magic over them. Is because it's your um, you being a star, and not only that, you be like um, the pretty thing they see. Not like that, but they mesmerize by your beauty. Like you probably is very beautiful. Uh, they probably like to look at your face. Like they probably just can't stop staring at you all the time okay and i feel like they like about you what they like about you is that you always start new things i feel like they like that you always aspiring to know a lot of knowledge like they love knowledge right but the thing is that you are the person who are hunger for knowledge like you anything new you will try okay everything new you will try any information is new you will read any information you haven't heard before you will study i feel like that curiosity that attracted them to you like that's that's the really good magic to you to have over them okay and i feel like you like to explore the world i feel like you like to explore new territorial so i feel like that's why they like you even more and some of you might process a creativity or maybe you're a little bit assy you might be good at painting singing or some kind of thing that's very assy uh it doesn't have to be all of you but some of you will have that or if you are not very art artistic like that you probably like very good at thinking outside the box like you like you do things that people don't do that's very inspiring them a lot because i feel like your future spouse they are a little bit in in a box like they are because they they are very uh caution in what they do so when they meet you and they meet they met this person that's always like do new things all the time and not scared they like really like that about you okay and i also feel like um some of you might get disappointment in love a lot and um and you will be able to open about that with them and that's make them feel even more in love with you like they love that you open up about your past or you don't give up on love like i feel like they they like that it's not like they like that you are, you have that like situation in your love life but things are like they like that you never give up on love like they like that you suddenly like you know okay it's okay i'm gonna love again you know like even though there's a lot of heartaches and um, bad relationship happen to you but you don't never give up on that and that's the magic that you have over them as well like they like that you are that kind of person okay so i hope you like this reading and uh and also like i want to tell you that you chose the purple um purple color um indigo color balls it's also mean it's knowledge it's like a third eye it's like the head like you know the chakra up above so i feel like this is why the reading is like this because i feel like um i forgot to tell you also like they are very spiritual as well either you or your future spouse are very very spiritual they're really connected with their inner self i feel like some of you might be a star seed as well because i feel like you are kind of like um especially you like you are a little bit 
offbeat like you are not like other people people always think that you are a little bit weird but that is the thing that attracts you or is is your magic that attracts you to your future spouse they like that you are a little bit uh off the beat beaten part like you are a little bit different from other people and you are very connected to you are very spiritual they are very spiritual as well even if they don't realize it yet but they are like they are very spiritual as well or they their their path in life is to be spiritual um i hope you like this reading and i hope you enjoy this reading if you um connected or very resonated with this reading please let me know down below as well so i can see like which character are you like which character did you get i hope that i will get to uh choose this harry potter as well because i love harry potter so much it's so fun uh i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time okay please click like and subscribe and ring the bell to know every time that i post fun video like this and i will see you next time bye oh i came out number two with pink crystal ball let's see what's your future gonna be <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm just playing around but every time when i think about fortune teller i always think of a crystal ball so this is kind of fun like this is the new crystal ball that i just got if you guys are uh already a subscriber you know like this is uh, a new thing that i just got um I think I'm gonna get some more because I feel so connected with these crystal ball. Okay, and I will tell you about them more because they are very special as well. Now let's look at your Harry Potter thing though. Let's see what's your Harry Potter. Who will you marry? Harry Potter style. What magic do they have over you? What magic you have over them? And what is special power that they have? Okay. Now let's look at what house. Okay, wow. Okay, let me tell you like I um printed my Harry Potter card houses, like which houses, but I picked two card for houses because I want to generalize like some people will connect it to some house and some people will connect to another house. And I say like when I was like shuffling, I was like if the pile have same two houses card it means that this person is really really in that house okay and this is the power that doing that is Slytherin <laughs> so yes um you are the house of Slytherin in Slytherin you make the real friend those cunning folks use any means to achieve their ends these achievements oriented type are an easy match for Slytherin, which is known for its leader, both bad and good. Slytherin are resourceful, clever, and self-aware. Like this category, they know who they are and what they want. They have the work either to achieve their desired result. Their personality is ESTJ, practical, traditional, organized normally athletic hard working and then another personality type is entj assertive outspoken natural born leader problem solver intelligent and you guys got two so definitely if you are thinking which house is slittering okay don't worry even though they are a little bit kind of like the bad guy of this the whole story but i feel like they're not in a way i feel like they are very very unique people okay let's see what character which harry potter style you will marry i have three cards for you oh wow i have goosebump oh sorry oh my god i have goosebump i'm I picked this randomly okay it's like magic because you guys three of the card are from Slytherin oh my god I mean even Dobby he's not Slytherin but he's working for Slytherin house originally okay 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 let's see we got 
Draco, Draco Malfoy, poor little Draco, is self-confident, quick thinking, somewhat clinical, INTJ. He is a natural leader and perfectionist, quite good at coming up with strategies, but also shyer and more sensitive than he let on. He balanced his idealistic with his brutal sense of reality and often find himself caught between enormous confidence and enormous self-doubt. Crying in morning my thread bathroom. Doubtful, nurturing, and endlessly devoted to the people who moral he believed in. Dobby was the undeniable embodiment of ISFJ personality, though it's arguably that all house a display ISFJ like quality, Dobby seemed to feel them on an absolute core level right to the end of his life. Dobby was focused on serving the people he loved. He was happiest when he was helpful, helping the people he loved, a classic ISFJ. And then Lord Voldemort. Okay. Sorry, ENTJ personality. I promise you, you are all not evil. It's just that the ENTJ type is all about ambitious leadership and borderline ruthlessness, rationality, and ENTJ will crush their enemy and reward their friends handsomely. Nobody beats them, either in the workplace or when it comes to wizard duo. Wadi cultivate a larger than life personnel like most ENTJ and he squash any inconvenient emotion into smitterings. Okay, now let's look at your general card. You have moon cycle, outer dedication, balance, grounding, of air seven of water two of water and uh, four no and the curious cat and what is your future spouse special power dragon card is hospitality and uh, observe okay guys so it's kind of scary i love tarot cards so much because when this happened when this serenity happened it's confirming me that the reading of tarot card is special, have special magic, okay? So definitely don't be scared if you get this card and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna marry a bad guy. <laughs> it's not like that at all. As you can see, even though you got Lord Voldemort, but you also got Dobby, who's very high hearty dive for Harry and the friends. And even Draco, like he looked very, he looks like he's gonna be the bad guy in the first time we saw him, right? But actually, he's actually very softy inside. He actually, um, the way he is is because of the way he was raised too. So, you know, so like, um, 
that is the energy that your future spouse will have. I feel like your future spouse will really will be very capable person. They will be very um because that special magic, that special um magic the power that they have is hospitality and observer so hospitality is mean that they are be able to get along with everyone or they will be able to accommodate everyone so that is very good special good power because in the way they are be able to um, get what they want you know what i mean like they be able to uh, if they do business they be able to crack the code what is their customer want or like if they're in hotel business then they probably really good hotel like they probably like have really good service you know that like they know what the customer want how to make them happy and that's like they can use that for their power like they can use that and with the observer because you because they are very good at observing people so it's also making them very um be able to satisfy the needs of other people and use that for the knowledge okay so let me talk about these people though um i feel like you got slytherin it's not like a bad thing i feel like you guys are like you guys gonna be marrying a really uh you guys gonna be marrying a businessman for sure or a businesswoman or someone who are very good at like achieving um success they're gonna even if they're not then they're gonna come from a really old family or come from a very old family line or very uh, respectable family or they probably achieve their goal and they'll be become very successful in life they're gonna be probably like the top leader ceo or they're gonna be like top manager and they're gonna be serving your needs like they because they're good at observing and they are good at like hospitality right so they're gonna be very good at like helping you they're gonna be helping you a lot with things and they are gonna be very um actually most of the people like most of the ceo i know they are very friendly people like they are they have a group of friends that like they have a really tiny group of friends that they can rely on and if they love someone they love them forever okay if they stuck with someone they stuck with them forever they um unless you like hurt them a lot of course that's gonna be another thing right if you hurt them a lot they probably like pay you back very painfully so i'm gonna say that you guys are gonna marry someone who are very powerful and the thing is that like this person like if you hurt them it's gonna be very bad too so be careful about that like if if you guys fight they're gonna win every time you know what i mean like but if they love you really much then probably they're gonna let you win it's not because they're losing they let you win okay so they have a lot of magic power within them they are really powerful i because the reason you got dedication and you got the altar i feel like some of your future spouse might play a little bit of magic within them they probably like believe in law of attraction they probably do some stuff like kind of like even if they don't use magic, they will use science to really make themselves become very successful or they have like that to anchor their goals and their success, okay? For the moon cycle, I feel like they probably uh, have this like uh, emotion that's like the moon energy. They probably have this deep down inside some sad things that happen to them or they probably have something that they keep hidden within them that they don't tell other people because they don't want to look weak in front of other people they don't like to look weak in front of people who even the people who they know okay even you if, even if you know them or marry them sometimes they're gonna have that secret that they were never ever gonna tell you because it's gonna make them look weak and anyone look weak even like in front of their wife or in front of their husband so that's just gonna be their like moon energy and they are very grounded i feel like the this card is representing the grounding is representing that they are actually very family oriented if they have a family of their own they're really loyal to their family even if their family hurt them or uh, something wrong happened in their family they probably forgive them and go back like go back to their family like for example if you are um become girlfriend boyfriend with this person even if you hurt them bad sometimes like they will be able to 
come back to like forgive you but the thing is that like don't hurt them too many times because that people have limits and when that limit is gone it's very hard to get them back okay so I feel like in order for them to balance in that emotion is for them to be grounded they have to practice like grounding energy like Lord Watermore like he's very like in when he was in school he was like the popular guy right I mean not the popular guy but he's like kind of like um, very good at his what he's doing the things that like the energy is building up so much about so many things that is breaking them and he doesn't have anyone to ground himself like he doesn't have like a like grounding friendship or grounding family that they that he can rely on that's make him a little bit lost okay okay now let's look at um what magic do they have over you okay you have the world the third power is knight of pentacle the fourth power is knight of sword and the fifth power is six of cup so the magic that they have over you is that they are such a carer like they are a caring person they can give you the world they will fight for you if they fall in love with you they can fight for you they will do anything to make you happy they will never ever leave your side if they fall in love with you and i feel like they will try their best to do anything in their power to get you what you want okay i feel like they are their magical power over you is that they are very caring if you are sick they will be there for you they will like raise you so you like not become sick anymore and they will give you everything and i also have an energy of you might have a big family with them i have a feeling the energy of like uh you will be a really big family together you will have like lots of children or you have like more than two okay you have more than two children or like you probably have like a group a network of people that like helping you i mean helping him he will like make your life become easier like in life like they will take care of you with anything they will fight for you they'll even though you are wrong they will be on your side no matter what and they will always be there for you okay that's that special power special magic they can make things happen they can use their one and magically give you things that you want it's not only just objects but it's also support hard energy like everything like they be able to give you that magically okay so what power do like what magic do you have over them is six of cup six of sword So the magic that you have over them is definitely is about you being the happy one. I have an energy of Aries, like fire energy, Aries Leo. Um, the energy of fire energy Sagittarius. Uh, I feel like you're gonna be those that people who are making them happy because I feel like, like I told you, like deep down emotionally, maybe they might not show you, but they are very they have like very dark side about them or they like very sad about something or there's something that happened in their life that very making them feel sad and feel depressed they probably have depression or some kind of thing like that like they probably have something that they it it, it the dark dark energy in this not in their soul in their heart things that happened to them in the past and i feel like this you being very active happy sunshine person 
making them feel so much happy to be around you like you are the sun like because the sun is the sun of their life you are the moon of their soul you know so it's kind of like you are kind of like that and also like i also have this energy of family again so i feel like you probably uh have children with them very quick or you probably give them the children that they always wanted or the family that they always wanted they, they probably feel like they have been asking for you to be his wife or her wife for I mean her the partner like for a long time and, and also like they are liking you that you are have the same moral as them in terms of you like to give you like to help I feel like you might be a very charitable person like you know like per person who like always give to other people always like doing charity or very like you know feel concerned about other people and want to make people happy is that you're you are like those people who um, don't like to see people get sad okay so you have that energy about you and I also feel like the, this magic is very impressed them a lot it, it impress them a lot and I feel like in the beginning of dating you probably might not tell them what is going on with you or it's probably very hard Hard to predict you I feel like you are unpredictable and that is the magic that they like about you as well because they never can figure it out you because they are their special power is of serving other people and be able to guess what these people like they be able to serve them and give them stuff but for you it's like you are the mystery to them all the time like you always like, surprises them so they never ever can guess you unless they like that about you as well that's the magic that you have over them like the mystery that you have and for the seven of sword i feel like for the seven of sword i feel like even though seven of swords is kind of like um uh kind of like very dark and it's like not dark but like not as happy as the sun but i feel like this energy of you be able to hold your ground like i feel like you'll be able to do stuff that you don't need his help like i know he's very helpful he can like magically give you things but you you can do that by yourself too you are a capable very action oriented person you are capable of creating your own magic too and that's what they like as well they don't want just a person who will be their spouse that they will only give 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 and they don't do nothing you know like they like that you are very uh, goal oriented and very, be able to achieve yourself like be able to do your own stuff and don't need his help all the time but he actually wants to help you all the time too so it's like contradicting but things are like the, like maybe that's attract him to you you know because you don't need them you are mystery like you probably like at first when you are dating you are like not texting them that often or you are like they always have to wonder where you are so that's just kind of like the thing that they actually fascinated and putting a magic over them about you okay so this is your reading i hope you like my reading and i hope you like the harry potter style theme and don't worry if you are slytherin because your future is about super clever and super uh analytical and they are they're gonna be very powerful and very successful as well and even though they have dark side in their soul but you are the sunshine to them you will bring them to light you will give them self kind of like a reborn to a journey that is like happier or some kind of like cozy oh i forgot to tell you as well they are very romantic as well they are very romantic they love to give you a romantic things like they probably give you a fly ticket or like they probably give you like a surprise gift for you all the time like they were they probably love to watch romantic movie with you but like they probably like they have their own romantic thing that they probably buy you flowers or they never like you know forget the your birthday or something like the anniversary but yeah like Oh, don't take this like for everyone because you know people think so romantic in different ways some people love to give gift give some people love to do service some people love to do stuff so there's a different kind of romanticism but definitely this person you're marrying they are very romantic for sure i love you guys so much for watching this with me and doing this together with me i love harry to partner so much i have been aching to do this for you so long for so long i'm so glad i finished my card and can give you this reading if you like this kind of reading and um, more fun like this you can check out other video that i have is like a theme video so like greek god and goddesses and also um 
Egyptian god if you can if you want you can look at those video as well I put a link down below or in the corner here so you can have that reading um, I love you guys so so much please click like and subscribe if you are new to my channel and ring the bell to know every time when I post cool video like this I will see you next time stay safe bye hello guys let's see who your future spouse um, wish Harry Potter character are you marrying and which house of Harry Potter uh, will you marry okay if you want to watch um, more like a theme video like this I also have Greek god and goddesses and also Egyptian god as well if you want to check that out I put it in the description box and also on the top corner over here okay now let's look at your future spouse Harry Potter style okay you have the yellow crystal balls yellow crystal ball okay let's see oh crystal ball please tell me who is you marrying now let's look at which house will you be in okay for this pile you only got one house so your house your future spouse you will be marrying the person who come from this house Ravenclaw okay look to the wise old Ravenclaw if you are ready mind wear those up with a learning will always find their kind as intellectual thoughtful people Ravenclaw takes their inspiration from nature book and themselves those personality type or share is learning and originality both of ideas and people the type of people are ISTP quiet reserve risk taker royal analytical problem solver or INFJ original sensitive motivate intuitive strict value system individualistic now let's look which harry potter character are you marrying is ron weasley okay the enfp personality type ron can be the fun guy who's keep up the group moral when he wants to be but he also care deeply about connecting with people one-on-one -on -one. he takes his relationship seriously except for maybe lavender brown as an enfp he's optimistic and open-hearted a little sensitive and full of positive energy and then the second one is molly weasley esfj everyone love an esfj they are generous caring fussy bossy and maternal to just about everybody molly can be a bit of traditionalist sure and sometimes just a smidge overbearing but she loves fiercely like the esfj personality she is she feels the urge to be helpful in every situation she always the one planning the party and she has an enormous capability of empathy unless you are a lucky death eater who threatened her kids and the third one you have Minoria Minora ESTJ sharp streak and fiercely protective of her loved ones Professor Mechanical display are the best trait of well-developed ESTJ she didn't mind looking like a bad guy when it comes to discipline so long as it serves the greater good for protecting those under her watch she made everything decision based on logic and loyalty 
the two main principles that govern her life. Okay, now let's look at the general reading for the card. Protection. Wand. Intention. Spirit. Initiation. Awaken. And then you have, I use the cat card to represent the general look, okay, the tower, the sea cat, fire queen, and then what is your future spouse special power, grace. Sherry Dragon and Peanut Butter Champion. I feel like your future spouse, they are very um royal people. I feel like um your future spouse is very clever. I mean I know Ron is not like that representing that but Manova she's re representing that I know that Ron is not representing the most clever people but the thing is Raven Claw is representing that Re Raven Claw is representing um loyal analytical problem solver person and I feel like Ron is like that Ron is the one who actually like put everyone together so they can solve the problem and I also feel like these people are very protective people your future spouse will be a very protective person they will love to protect you in all causes or they want to protect the one that they love their family and everything and you know like they the reason you got um peanut butter because I feel like you got that playful like I've always feel that the peanut butter um, dragon they are the playful people they are the like uh, fun loving people I can feel Aries, real Sagittarius energy um, that come out in this and oh, yeah, they are a companion like Molly wisely she like love their uh, family so much and even raw like the way he treated harmonia like i mean like in the beginning maybe they fight but when they, when he loves someone he love it deeply and also manova like if she have to break the rules or she he if she have to be the bad guy she will protect that person no matter what so they are very uh, kind of like if they love someone they really love them deeply and they will do everything to help them and i feel also that they they don't like conflict they don't like drama but they're always in the middle of it i feel like uh they are the one who eventually will make the conflict go away because they are those people who are affectionate they are very friendly they are very happy people they are very fun loving people you know like they are very like that they have that energy about them like your future spouse might not look clever but they are clever you know what i mean like they are hiding uh, their cleverness with their shyness and they um because they they're not very that uh showing that energy or oh, this can have the energy of an earth sign energy but i have to check the card that i open more but i also feel the earth sign energy as well capricorn um virgo and taurus energy because especially taurus because taurus uh, or the is representing with the molly wisely because they love to be in couple relationship they love to be in a structural family they they wanted to build that in their life and they don't like drama but they're always in the middle of it it's kind of like the god is testing them whether they can be um drama free or not like in this lifetime can they be not in the middle of the drama okay so i feel like they are those best friend of everybody like they are very kind they are very funny like i feel like they are very funny people and i also feel like they are very the person who will initiate fun like they will be the one who initiates fun initiate, initiate like happy time okay and also i feel like they are very protective of 
anything and anyone like I feel, I feel like they're also very good at um giving people a uh, happy energy as well okay let's see what um energy that they have what is the magic that they have over you okay you have ten of sword seven of cup two of cup the sun is of cup so there's a lot of cup energy as well so they probably can be water sign energy so Pisces, Cancerian and also Scorpio um, I have a feeling that the magic that they have over you is that that loving energy I feel like this person are gonna be very loving to you this person um this person could be a gemini is very strong as well gemini um anyway they are gonna be very loving to you they will they will have a lot of dreams in their life i feel like they're gonna have a lot of dreams in their life the magic that they have over you is that their loving energy they're the one who will be your partner the one that will like be your everything like they or you are that everything like they be able to represent it, that energy for you they'll be able to represent the energy of um the one the energy of like they be able to present that energy of coupleness like they will always want to be with you all the time they will be the one who um i feel like your future spouse probably um oh maybe they might have the love of their life or they might probably like when they date someone they, when they break up with someone they date someone right away or they are really like um kind of like a popular in term of uh, the energy okay i feel like they are the one who probably like a lot of people like them a lot of people want to date them i feel like they are the person that oh when you meet this person you probably think that they date a lot of people and actually they are or you think that oh my god this person that a lot of people probably want them yes they are like a lot of people want them the thing is that their secret desire is that they want to be together with someone forever like until they die or another lifetime they don't want to date around like this they don't want to um you know date and then break up they end the breakup like they don't like that they want to find the one like they want like the reason they date they like want to find a one and when someone break their heart they got hurt very badly like they got hurt very badly the magic that they, they have over you is that their love energy because when they love someone they love them so passionately like super passionately like they will never ever forget you like they love you passionately and they will go to the end of the earth for you they are like that and secretly the magic that they have over you is that like when you talk to them more and you know them more you know that they want to build a family like you know like there's the desire that they want to have like a cozy family together with someone and that is the energy that you are think that's so precious because they are like even though they look like they are um dating a lot of people or they have a lot of people or a lot of people like them and it seems like they want to be single forever but they are actually not and you know like that is very mesmerizing as well and i also feel like they probably give up the energy to other people or even to you at first sight that they uh they have a lot of people they can choose they have they can date people once every month or something like like you know like one every month change 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 but things are deep down that is so they don't want to do that and when you get to know them deeper they know that you know that that they are very like loving person and they want to be with only one person that's it's a magic that you can't find other people in this day and age this modern age when you can date many people from the app but they're not like that you know um they are not like that at all they're very focused if they like you they're very focused they probably like want to spend time with you all the time they're probably a little bit stalkerish and a little bit like they're very possessive like they, they probably ask you all the time where are you go what did you do you know like they are like that kind of people and i feel like 
there's a moment in their life that they become awakened like um maybe like when they were young or there's a certain period of time that they might be a little bit like a player or a little bit like floozy they don't really focus on work or career so much but that's gonna be one time in their life and suddenly they're gonna change and they're gonna become very successful like for example if you're dating dating them right now and they're not like doesn't focus on future doesn't have goal and stuff like that but there's gonna be a moment in their life especially if they find you or if they find their soulmate it's gonna inspire them to like work really hard and that's the magic as well the magic is that you are that everything is very hard to find it's kind of like the notebook you know when noah uh if you haven't watched the notebook noah is like always love um ellie like like he like built a house for her like you know he like love her forever if she were to marry someone else he probably still gonna love her forever and it's the same as that like i feel like they are like they are like that if they love someone they did they did they dedicate they dedicate the time for them they like do things for them that's a walk in their desire to be a better person because they meet you and they want to build family with you and i feel like they have a really bad past in terms of love like i think that uh in terms of love they, or even if a mother love or a father love there's some kind of like a damage within their love energy they are damaged like they love someone and they like stab them in the back like broke their heart so bad that that's why when they found you when they like get to meet the one they are actually appreciating you so much and they, that's why they are very possessive and very stalkish as well because they are scared of like being backstabbing again or being hurt about love again they don't want to have that and they don't want to die alone either they want to have someone that they can take the rest of the world with okay so now let's see what magic do you have over them the empress Full of cup. Nine of one. Nine of one. Ten of one. So you probably have a lot of fire sign energy in you, um, in your birth chart as well. Um, also maybe water sign as well um fire sign energy is like just aries and leo and water sign energy is pisces scorpio and cancerian okay so the magic that you have over them is that you also want to build a family like them and you are ready for that i feel like you are more ready than them or you show them that they that you are ready for this um i have a feeling that some of you might be having baby before marriage as well um because uh, there's energy of that and i also feel like you are kind of a person that uh you are probably come from different nationality than your future spouse as well or they probably come from far away different state or they are not the same culture as you or even if you are in the same state they probably come from different kind of like social background and you they probably uh, or like just a simple thing like they like hip hop you like rock or um something like that like sometimes can be like very it's kind of like a a different thing come together i feel like that and i feel like you're gonna get along pretty fine i feel like they, the magic that you have over them is that you are hard work like you don't give up on being you like um those people who will not give up on the person that you are love and you will work hard for that and you want to have a family like them you know like they secretly love to have a big family and or a happy family like a wife and a and a husband and kiss a couple of kids and family and you want that as well like you know and you show them and they that's why like it's the magic of wanting to have family that's gonna captivate them and the magic of you love to try new things love to travel the world i feel like the reason that you have a lot of knowledge about the world is also inspire them as well because you are so you know like hard work and you know you are so open-minded that they like that about you and also i feel like um you are like when you, when they met you you have this magic of a motherhood like or fatherhood like you have this like you know what when people look at you you can see that this person will be good 
raising a kid or like if they have a kid they will be the perfect mom or they have a they're gonna be a perfect dad and you give up that energy as well when you like when they look at you at first time they know that this is the mother of my child or when like especially like, the father of my child like you know like they know like oh my god this person and you are so kind i have a feeling of you are very kind to animal as well i feel like you love love animals some of you might be weakened but doesn't have to and also i feel like you in love with love like them so this is like perfect match in a way like you guys are gonna be the envious of all the people around your circle because the way you love each other it's so cheesy it's like in a cheesy romantic comedy movie so i feel like it's gonna be a very um a happy smooth journey only maybe in the beginning you might think that they have a lot of people or they, they have a lot of choice but the thing is that they fall in love with you the first time they meet you the first time they lay their eye on you you have that magic over them the magic of yes i'm yours <laughs> okay so i love you guys so much i hope you like this reading and uh Please let me know like which uh, out of these three like which character did you aspire the most like or which character you wish you could marry it okay uh, and I also want to say thank you for watching my channel I'm appreciating you so much if you are new to my channel please 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 subscribe to my channel to help me and click like and comment under the video so to help with my video as well and I love you so so much and I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time bye hello welcome to my video um this is power number four with clear crystal with clear color crystal okay now let's look at your reading if you're interested in more theme reading like this i also have a video on the uh, greek god and also egyptian god if you haven't watched them please do because it's very fun as well or or a wish monster do you married okay so i will put like on the description box and also on the link here so you can look at them very easily um now we are doing harry potter style i'm so excited because i love harry potter so so much um i have watched it so many times already so if you are in quarantine right now go and watch it again to like make you happy okay let's look at who will you marry which harry potter character are you marrying which house are you your future spouse gonna be in what magic do they have over you and what magic do you have over them and what is their special power okay let's see wow okay so in my making of the harry potter card i made like a two card of the same house and uh and when i was shuffling i was like if the two card is in the same pile it mean that this is very your house you don't have any mixed personality about it you have this personality okay so the house that you have is hufflepuff you might belong in hufflepuff where they are just and loyal those patient hufflepuff are true and af and unafraid of toil the wizard of hufflepuff might be the most friendly of all and this personality embody what it might means to wear the yellow and black because of their caring curious nature about all things a hufflepuff is a altruistic and desire to leave the world better than they found their personality type is isfp quiet serious sensitive kind avoid conflicts flexible creative another personality is infp quiet reflective idealistic loyal adaptable quick thinker people helper so you have both um half a puffing so uh i mean half a puff <laughs> yes so you are definitely your future spouse gonna be coming from half a puff house for sure because you got two in one card
Wow. Okay, the first person that you have. I know this is a little bit different, but yes. You are gonna be marrying Harry Potter. I know Harry Potter is not in Hufflepuff, but I feel like maybe your future spouse personality might mix with Harry Harry personality as well in the Gryffindor house, okay? So Harry personality is ISTP. Harry may be the most famous baby in all the wizarding history, but he doesn't actually love his limelight all that much. He is an ISTP, introvert, independent, adventurous, and not too hung up on following rules. He cares about others, but isn't always settled at assessing his feelings, and he prefer to learn by doing rather than watching from the sideline. And then you have Luna Lovegood. Luna is a dreamy, introvert, idealistic, like any true INFP. She looks for the good in all people and isn't too bothered by things like logic and hard fact. An INFP will try to find the bright side even when they trap in the basement of Malfoy Manors. But just because she's quirky and sweet doesn't mean she's a pushover. INFPs come across as shy, but deep down they are passionate about their belief and protecting their friends. And another card you have, Ginny. Ginny is a type ESTP type. ESTP are perhaps the most Gryffindor personality type out of there. Bold, blunt, and always ready to take risks. Ginny, a bundle of energy who likes running head long into dangerous situation and making out with whomever the hell she wants to. ESTP are notorious for it and highly competitive, hence Ginny epic success in both sport and high school dating. Okay guys, if you see a little bit changes in the reading a little bit, uh, setting and if you hear a frog sound, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry I have to change my place of uh, reading because it's the place where I shoot the video is a, li a little bit quite loud with people talking so I guess I will change to a frog singing. I probably think that uh, it might be better than just hearing people talking than uh, you know the sound of the frog. Uh, maybe it's good for this reading as well because the frog is um, one of the pets for the witch, right? So if you hear like uh, uh, a sound, it's, it's the frog singing, okay? I uh, have a frog at my friends because it was raining and so the frog is singing so much. But yeah, I changed place where I shoot the video because where I sh was shooting is there's a lot of like people talking. So I don't want that on my video. But yes, okay, let's carry on what let's carry on with what we are talking. Um, so this is your choice, number four. And uh, I will look at the character of your future spouse. Okay, so four of cat i mean four of water magician the moon the cat and then you have um High priest, responsibility, you, rebirth, ancestor, remembering, death. 
Okay, and the magic power that your future spouse have is... I'll use the dragon card for this. Kindness. And... Success, watermelon. You have it here. Okay. Okay, so your future spouse, I feel like your future spouse, I know like Harry Potter and even Ginny, they are not, they are in Gryffindor, but the thing is that I feel like they also have the soft side personality of Hufflepuff as well. I feel like Hufflepuff is the house that is very kind of like the, the softest one out of all the houses in Harry Potter. I feel like their house is very... um the kindest and I, I i don't know but i i have that feeling of them being very shy and very kind very like you know the the softer side of the humanity like i feel like they are very very um uh, preserved as well as introvert you know so i feel like even uh, harry potter he's very brave and he's like fight water more and stuff like that but i have like i feel like there's a side of him especially in the beginning when he was just starting in the school he had the half of half like energy about him too like a shy reserved boy even though he's very famous but he's not like showing off that oh i am the famous kid you know he's actually hiding from that he actually don't want to uh, be known as that in a way you know like also like Ginny like she was so very shy when she was young to like I mean if you see she actually secretly in love with Harry Potter for a really long time before she say or before she show herself that like you know she really like him or something like that like she is very shy too and I feel like this this is the energy of like your future spouse your future spouse probably a really shy person they're probably like the one who um who secretly love you until forever you know until you make a move or some kind of thing like they will hide their feeling they will not tell you what they you know actually feel and i also feel like i also feel like your future spouse is very um determined as well i mean you know even luna love good harry potter or even Ginny, they are they have a very special talent they they are they are a little bit like they are brave in their own way like they are not like um obviously brave i feel like they people actually probably um underestimate them but when they show that speciality like people are wow you are very amazing you know i feel like they have so much kindness in them i feel like your future thoughts very soft hearted soul person they are very kind they will be brave with the one they love like they will be like they will become like you know brave for the one they love and you also have to have the death card so i probably think that your future spouse is gonna rebond themselves like reinvent themselves like if you met them when they are a little bit older then you can ask them like what they are like in their high school they're probably a nerd you know like they're probably the one who people don't notice them or they're probably like not as pretty or as famous or something like that but suddenly they become very well known you know what i mean like suddenly they become very a uh, sparkle it's like glow up they become glow up after um, a certain period of time because they have that special talents that eventually people found out that they actually really really talented and really and they're gonna become really successful in the end of their life as well i feel like at the beginning of their life or maybe like when you guys are dating or something i feel like the, your future spouse are very relaxed about dating you like i feel like they are they're those shy people and they're not very that, that active like they are not very like pursuing person they they probably like meet you at the party or meet you somewhere and like you secretly and not actually asking for your number or they probably just don't very uh that active in pursuing you know so i feel like maybe you have to be the one who pursuing them maybe you have to be the one who actually get the conversation started because i feel like your future spouse they don't like to be very out there okay so because also they they i feel like uh they probably maybe get bullied at school as well some of you it doesn't have to be all of you i feel like they have that like tendency to 
want it to hide away because or just be invisible like like harry potter he have invisible cloak okay so they want to be like that people who you don't really know your future spouse is like the one that you probably when you in school with them or when you in the office with them you probably don't really notice them but when they actually when you actually like have one to one conversation with them and stuff like that you're starting to fall in love with them even more i think they are not good with like social gathering i feel like they are the one who tend to be in a corner and reading books or do things by themselves or don't go to party at all i feel like they don't like that i mean they don't they, they don't really like that they like to uh do things by themselves and they like to learn new things i feel like they love to learn new skills as well your future future so they love to learn new skills if you ask me whether they will be successful in life of course they will be successful yeah so like harry potter you know like he become successful and famous at the end like you know um especially he proved himself like to everybody that he were meant to do great things and your future spouse is like that as well they were meant to do great things in their life um also i feel like they also have the tendency to maybe born from a uh, separated parents or they maybe they only have one parents raising them or if they're still like together with that uh, if they still have like their parents together then probably the like there's something about ancestor that they are very connected to so i feel like if you wanted to get to connected with them it's good for you to you guys to talk about their their roots and uh, what's their family and stuff like that because i feel like that's gonna um connect to you guys a lot because i have a feeling that they love their family so much or their family roots they love their family roots where they come from so, you know like i feel or they have like the memory of a childhood that very memorizing to them or something that is like about family that the memory of the family is kind of like inspire them to do things in the future that making making them success and there's a rebirth within them they probably like come from totally different background and suddenly they become super famous or maybe they're really poor when they were young and now they become successful or maybe they come from like not good or maybe like really good situation and they move across the country to be with another um situation i feel like there's a rebirth like a phoenix um raising from the ashes elements about them okay or like they probably feel death inside when they meet you they probably feel a sparkle like they reborn again like they probably tell you all the time like you know when i met you i feel like i'm a reborn again i'm, I'm like seeing the world in different light like i'm a new person when i i met you when i like get to be together with you okay and they have responsibility that they need to take care of i think it's probably about family or some someone that they know that they have a responsibility to that uh, is part of them okay it's part of them that you have to accept as well okay now so let's look at um their what magic they have over you okay what magic do they have over you the fool The towel. Four of Pentacle. Knight of Cup. And then you have Death. Wow. Have Death two times. Uh, normally with the death card it could be scorpio so watch out for scorpio energy uh it could be water sign energy as well because there's a lot of water elements in the cat card too so water sign energy scorpio cancerian or pisces energy okay so the magic that they have over you is that they are a, a kind of like um those people who r risen from ashes like they probably uh very good at withstanding conflicts i feel like uh oh, i have this energy of like maybe maybe when you guys dating someone in your circle doesn't like this person your future spouse but he proved everybody wrong he's stuck by you he stand 
to prove everyone wrong about him so or about her and I feel like that standing power that um, stand out of conflict energy that actually make him very um, make him very become become this person that people love okay that people love and they are just uh, the strength that they have to fought together with you to get or fight for you is just so strong that it's kind of like magical to look at him okay so and i also feel like the things that have hurt them in the past and they got over them like how they re risen from phoenix like from ashes to phoenix making you feel this person is very mesmerizing make you feel like this person is amazing like this person is kind of like awesome that they are be able to reason from death like this person be able to change their whole life and you know like also i feel like when they meet you they actually like find a purpose in life to really fight to their difficulties i feel like um yeah yeah i have a feeling of energy like the person in like one of the person in your circle maybe your parents or maybe like your friends or someone really don't like them like doesn't like them that much like not or not sure about this person that you are marrying or boyfriend or girlfriend or when you're dating them your people your circle doesn't like them and he or she be able to withstand that and prove them wrong it's so mesmerizing to you that they even though people don't agree with you to be with them together like or it probably could be that their family doesn't like you as well. It's like it's like I feel like the energy of the people around you or them doesn't approve of this relationship so much. I mean, not so much, but like it affected you. But the thing is that he or she be able to withstand that is magical in a way. Like it's like a power that they have that make you feel so strong about your connection that you guys can fight this through together. And I feel like the one of also one of the thing that you like about your person is that they are those people who are very kind-hearted person they will help anybody like even if they don't know them or even just you just like they just met this person in one day or something like that like or maybe they see kitten on the street they're probably gonna help them like you know like they are those people who love to help everybody even though they don't know them like like he's his or her kindness of helping other people especially the people who gone through bad stuff like they will be there for those people and those is magical in a way that you feel like this person are so kind and you know kind to everyone it's because he or she have been through that like they have been through hard time in their life so when they see other people even though they don't know them they still like want to help those people as well so that's like it's kind of the magic that you know they process and you know like they love that i mean you love that about them so much and what magic do you have over them the chariot page of wand my of sword ten of sword the high priest i feel like the magic that you have over them is that you are be able to choose them i feel like they sometimes feel like they are not good enough or somehow they they have this softer side in them that they somehow feel like they don't deserve you and the fact that you choose them the fact that you choose to have this path with them or choose them to be your partner in life like they find that super magical and they feel like you are very spiritual like you are connected to the spiritual universe like you have this uh, peacefulness within you and they feel like they like that and also i feel also that you also 
been kind of like same thing as them. Like you've been through hard time like them, and you'll be able to understand them deeply like that. Like you kind of like a phoenix as well. That's make them feel like they are not here alone on earth. They feel like there's someone like them or similar. Background with them that we can fight this world together, and that's make them like so happy to find you. The magic that have they head over here with you is that you have this aura. Like I feel like you probably have this like aura within you. Is probably like very bright aura, like the angels, like that, like you know, like very um. Kind, peaceful, kind-hearted person that they love that about you. That you have that like they. I feel like if you ask them, what is it about me that you like about me, they cannot explain it because it's more like a feeling. Like they feel the warmth energy within you. Like it's like a pure, peaceful energy that you give off. Okay, and I feel like they feel that the fact that. Even if the path is gonna be hard, you're gonna choose to walk the path with him or her anyway, because you love them that much. Like even the difficult time, even even if like people around you like not agreeing with, or if uh, maybe it's a long distance relationship, or like all the difficult hard time that you guys gonna get through together, you're gonna still be there for them. You're not gonna give up. That's just like the magic within itself. Like you love them that much that you want to fight for them. They are so appreciating for that. Like I feel like it's probably like in their life they probably don't have anyone that will fight with them or will be there for them. Maybe they they might be like a only child or like you know like they probably not close to their parents or not emotionally close with them. It doesn't have to be everyone, but I feel like they feel like they feel like they are alone and lost. And when you are with them, you make them feel like you are like them, and they don't feel so alone. And and you also don't feel so alone. Like don't feel so lonely. And like when you guys come together, like you you fight to be with them. You you find a way to be with them. That is like the magic that they wanting in the spouse or in the person they will be marrying because they like that. Even how hard the obstacle is, you still willing to fight for this person, which is this person. So, like your future spouse, you be able to want to fight for them. You don't give up. You know, you never give up. Or or maybe, or or even how long it is. Like maybe you met them like ten years ago, and then you meet again, or you still love them, or something like that. Like because you are focused on them, to fight with them, no matter what's happened in the world. It's so refreshing to them. It's so mesmerizing to them, and I also feel that this peacefulness that you give them is making them feel happy inside. It's like you are the light of their darkness. I feel like you are the you giving them hope in this dark world. You know what I mean? So I hope that you like this reading. I hope that if you feel resonating either of these characters, please let me know in the comments. I want to know whether it's resonating with you or not. I love doing this reading for you so much. Thank you for being with me in this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please consider click like and subscribe. I will be appreciating you so much. Um. Also, if you want free reading, don't forget the Instagram as well. You can enter there so you get um, to win free reading giveaway at the end of the month, and also my private reading is as well. Now I have a discount during this quarantine period for you guys, so you can uh, know your future and doesn't have to be so worried. Okay, I wish you safe and happy, and I will see you next time. Bye. Okay, pile number five with. Blue color, um, magic crystal ball. Let's see what your reading is about. Which character? Who will you marry? Harry Potter style. What magic do they have over you? What magic you have over them? What power? Magic power do they have? Okay. If you like theme reading, I also want to suggest uh, Greek God. 
reading who you marry Greek god style or Egyptian style if you like uh, the theme reading okay and also I also have the which monster are you marrying as well so I'll put in the description um, box and also I'll put it in the um, the corner right here so you can follow the link and it will be so easy for you to watch um, also for this reading if you can hear frogs <laughs> singing it's because it was raining today so that's why like there's a, like a frog um, singing outside my window so if you hear like uh, 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 sound it's probably the frog i'm so sorry uh so now let's see what do you have who will you be marrying harry potter style but first i want to give you which house who your future spouse come from which house is Gryffindor you might belong in Gryffindor where dwell the brave at heart their daring nerve and chivalry set Gryffindor apart Gryffindor are known for their leadership they achieve things through bravery instead of hard work. This bravery can sometimes border on recklessness. Though like those um, mayor's bridge ties, Gryffindor always put forth effort toward noble causes. Their personality type is ENFP, enthusiastic, idealistic, creative, great people, skill, open-minded, and Another personality is ENTP, creative, resourceful, intellectual, quick, excited about new ideas, enjoy debating. Okay, now look at which character is your future spouse will be for Harry Potter style. Let's see. First is... ENFJ Dumbledore, Dumbledore Naturally, Dumbledore is an empathic, inspirational ENFJ. He is confidence leader who will keep things light and present until you threaten one of his crew. Then, easygoing ENFJ become a force to be reckoned with. ENFJ have a tendency to get a bit over involved in other people's life and they are incredibly trusting even with Snape. But nothing can stop them from fighting for the just cause. Okay. Another person is ISTJ Severus Snape. INSTJ are all about honor and duty. Snape is serious to a fault and usually prefer to work alone. As an ISTJ, he takes great pride in his career and he never does a job halfway he come across as reserved and he really struggles with expressing his feeling but he has a sharp mind and a grim determination to, to see every task through to the bitter end and then the third card that you have for your future spouse is ESFP Fred and Greg Weasley Fred and Greg could only ever be ESFP boy serious entertainers who love entertaining and hate being alone they thrive on jokes and elaborate performance they know how to enjoy the finer things in life and they are surprisingly sensitive friends when they need to be they are the life of the party until they get bored and drop out of high school 
in a burst of magical fireworks. Okay, then I have a general look at that card as well. So, their card is homecoming. Fire passion. Boundaries. Ethos. We can read. And that cat card is Queen of Water. Ace of Water. Hermit. And then that special power is Haitian Avocado Dragon. And another card is Lee Align Cantaloupe Dragon. Okay, so I know that in this card there's different kind of personality. I will tell you why these people have to be together. First, I feel like I feel like the reason these are very a mixture of energy of people because I feel like um of course I feel like these two are really similar. But the thing is that the reason you have um the Weasley uh, twin as well as like adding to this because you're probably gonna marry someone who have a really funny, happy event party side about them, okay? So I feel like if you didn't get this card, I probably think that your future spouse, I'm gonna like totally gonna tell you like, oh, your future spouse is very serious person. They're very, uh, very focused and you know they're very uh serious and they're not like they they're actually very serious and always like look at the books and stuff but the re but the reason i think you got this card too because i feel like there's a part of them that they are very funny and happy person too i'm sure when dumbledore was like young he probably like these people like they're probably like weasley and um george and they they got out of the school to like open their own business job okay i feel like also like dumbledore he is the kind of person who don't follow rules okay even um snipes like snape even snape he also don't follow the rules even though he's supposed to be um loyal to his house but he also he also have his own mind like you know he have his own thinking he want to uh do his own thing do his own path and even Dumbledore he's a headmaster he should follow the rules of the the magic world but he doesn't he if he want to do something he he gonna focus and do it and i think the same as your future spouse your future spouse is probably the one who don't follow rules like they probably like i feel like they're gonna become very successful in life i feel like they're gonna become very successful in life and you know like they're gonna like they probably is like a either they are in the top of like uh the, the uh, authority or they will be like the ceo of their business okay so i feel like they're gonna be the person who are very um i feel like they're gonna be very good with knowledge even though these two are not very like bookworm people but they are very um at once in their skills like they imagine like you'll be able to open your own business when you were young you know it's where it need it needed a really talented person to do that and i feel like your future spouse is like that and they are brave enough to break the rules okay normally they wouldn't but if something that they're passionate with 
they will break the rules okay that's your future spell i feel like and they have the patience to do it like for snape like he wait for so long he like in the background helping harry harry potter like you know and he didn't come out even like at the end of his life he actually helping but no one like really know until like you know he's in the background helping harry you know like he help he doesn't need to be famous he doesn't need to like be the people who everybody will know like he doesn't have to he just need to be able to choose his own path and that is your future spouse i feel like your future spouse are the people who are brave enough to choose their own path like not um reform to a society uh boundaries like they they are they are not people who like um you know if the government say you would do this they will like only do this only no they will like either secretly or loudly break the rules that gonna serve their passion okay that's is the the thing like you know like snape his passion is his love for harry harry's mother so he do that like he help harry he like try to be a good person even though you know like he he's he's like totally don't get love in return he secretly love this person but he still help them and he still go outside of his normal personality to like help the person that they love also as somebody as well and i feel like even though you feel like maybe you shouldn't be getting um the weasley twins brother but i feel like even though like they look like they're dumb or like when they talk to like maybe if you watch the movie do you think like these two are dumb like but they are not they are very clever they will be successful they are the people who are quirky enough to go outside of the rules that been given okay so your future spouse will be like that like and i i also have to say that some of you might also get the future spouse that really serious and not having fun at all too but i feel like this is a general reading that's why this card pop up because i feel like there's a like a two group of people who are choosing this power you're gonna have a future spouse who really serious and also gonna have future spouse that serious but also have love to have fun as well um also i feel like even if your future spouse is serious but they're gonna be saying some sarcastic joke that you're gonna be laughing as well they're gonna make you laugh still even with that seriousness okay so definitely they will be like that and i also feel like they have their own sets of rules and they might even implement it on you as well i feel like they are the kind of people it's not like they are very um bossy but it's just that they have their own rules and you know like when they meet someone that they're interested in loving they kind of want you to kind of like do the same thing as them but they were like introducing them like like slowly slowly they have like they are very patient person so eventually when you probably date them for a long time or married for quite a while and then you look back and you were like Oh my god, I don't like to be a vegetarian and my future husband or future wife totally make me become a vegetarian or um I don't like exercise but they probably they like probably love exercise and they encourage you to exercise more or you don't like uh doing something in public but they like it or you know you probably like change to be like them eventually and you you realize that like when it's uh long time and then you look back and oh my god like my future spouse actually changed me in a per like in in kind of like improving me as well as a person and that's kind of refreshing but at first you probably don't like some of the rules that they have or some of the things that they won't go you know because i feel like they are very confident about what they like and what they don't and even if it's like some people that they love um they probably do it anyway because they passionate about it you know like they are those people who were even though there's a set of rules they might follow them or might not they will choose which rule they like and follow them and they might implement that in you as well but you but it's not gonna be like a hard 
implementation like you're not gonna be like oh i have to do everything they say they're so bossy it's not gonna be like that they're gonna slowly make you change your way in a in a better way and then when you look back you're like oh my god i'm so much different than when i was start dating this person at the end of it like i feel like i improved so much you know as a person because of this person is like as a person that they changed me you know in in a way it's kind of like that and also i also feel like they love to be on their own as well they love to be on their own they love to kind of like hibernating a little bit they like i feel like when they first like talk to you they probably in and off a lot like they probably suddenly become gone for a month or for weeks then takes back and then they suddenly come back i have the energy of a chorus as well like a chorus scorpio energy um this like energy of like um being um gone for a while being very reserved in a way and you know they but they will come back with a bright smile like they will always come back i feel like even how long you didn't talk or something like that or they just gone all of a sudden they're suddenly gonna pop back up if they really really like you okay so it's gonna have that kind of energy a little bit your future spouse they're gonna be like a little bit mia a little bit sometime and then they will come back again okay so let's see what's your future spouse have magic over you okay five of pentacle ten of cup eight of pentacle eight of sword and the emperor Okay, the magic that they have over you is obvious. Is that they personify the mother of your child, your the father of your children so much that you want to get to married with them right away. Like they probably like when you meet them, you like mesmerized by their um was it their family man energy or a uh, womanly motherhood energy you know like they personify that and you can see the future with them flash before you your eyes when you see them okay that is the energy and i also feel like you also feel that you connected um when you meet them you feel very connected with them it's like you met you they are like your soulmate you you met them like many lifetime ago or you met each other when you are starseed this can be twin flame as well can see the energy of twin flame as well and i feel like you can see that they're gonna be such a good father or a good mother to your children like you can see that like they have that energy of warmth of energy of like they probably love children as well they probably like when they see children they play with them so cute but like that that's one thing that's very mesmerizing about them that attract you to them is that it seems like you feel connected to them somehow even if they do bad things to you i i i, I didn't say that they would do bad things to you okay but i feel like even if they were gone for a long time because i feel like that you still feel super connected to them like you don't know what's happened to you you feel so attracted to them like they have this energy like you guys are so made twin flame like you love this person so much or if you if you don't love them at first you feel so connected like for no reason and you you can see family life flash before your eyes that is the energy i also feel like this person also have this energy of being your light like they are the light of your day i feel like when you get a text from them you feel so happy when you get a smile from them you feel so happy like or they probably help you secretly and you feel like when you know you feel like they are such an angel that protect you you know like they they have this energy of protection warmness and stuff like that and i also feel like they have the, the their brain they're smart they're very smart person like when they talk about 
stuff in the world you feel so like inspired by them like you like they are very clever people like Dumbledore he is a headmaster he knows he has so much knowledge and you feel really connected to them like like you feel very you feel like you are in a great hand you don't feel like you feel like you can like be anything in the world when they're around because they're so clever and they're so supportive does that magic over you but the magic like the one key magic is that like they have really a magic over you like you don't cannot explain why you feel so connected like you feel like there's an umbilical cord like connecting each other or you probably like talk about the same thing or you probably like sinking in some way you know like suddenly you think of each other and you call each other like or like maybe you miss them and they call right away or something like that like there's like a, this psychic energy they're connecting you guys together and that's the magic that they have over you okay and i can see a really happy family that you guys gonna have you guys gonna be super happy like i feel like when you guys get together all the lucky things start to happen like like if you never won a lottery before you will win the lottery or if you never become lucky like in a chance like that when you guys meet each other or when you guys come together it's kind of like you become lucky like lucky in some way like your all your dreams starting to come true when you guys meet each other okay so what it's like you guys come together and create magic okay um what's your magic over them two of cup page of sword the fool is of pentacle nine of pentacles yeah same thing i feel like the magic that you have for them is that you're very romantic person i feel like you i feel like you give them the the soulmate energy like they when they meet you they also feel the same thing as well they feel like this is my soulmate like i feel so connected with this person like why does this person is so understanding me like you guys are connected in the soul um you have that energy towards them as well. i feel like the magic that you have over them is that you are a go-getter person i feel like they like that about you they like that you are having goals and want to achieve them and you are the chaser you are the person who will chase your dream you are the person who if you like something or you're passionate about something you do them you chase them like that's like sparkle that you have like they love it and they love that you are a traveler or a person who don't not scared to travel alone or not travel alone in that sense of like like totally traveling it's also mean that as well but also like you are not afraid to try new things to, to like for the you the go for the goals that you have you're not afraid to try it or learn new things that gonna achieve your goals especially i feel like you are very good with money as well i feel like you are like very good with like e either managing money or very good at like um the, the career that you are in like you are like um you good at like climbing the ladder of career or finances and they like that that like they like that you can hold your own ground like they like that like they like that you have purpose in life in terms of career or like you you like you know what you like to pursue okay even if you are not pursuing your dream right now they like that you are active or passionate enough to pursue the thing that you want to try okay and also i feel like they love that when you like something you fight for it like i feel like you are a fighter i i feel like they are the like they like it that they like it, it's a little bit similar to them is that like you are not afraid to break the rule for the thing that you're passionate with same as them i feel like this is 
that's why I say twin flame soulmate and stuff because you are actually very similar to each other like you are you are not afraid like you will follow the rules right but if you are passionate about something you're not afraid to fight for the like go outside the box to get what you passionate about and when you love someone you love them deeply you take care of them you very focus on them you make them feel very romantic make them feel like they're not alone and that's make them feel like happy like the magic that you have over them is that you are a go-getter person you are a you know like um a person who will mm, mm, fight for human rights or you know like those kind of like the energy of like a humanitarian person you will, will fight for your passion okay and you are not afraid to do it alone even if he's not supporting you or people are not people around you not supporting you you are not afraid to fight for what you are passionate about especially career also career and also especially fight for him or fight for the person you love because i feel like your journey have been like someone who very passionate about someone and i also feel like they like that you are not afraid to show your emotion i feel like they are a little bit afraid to show that emotion right but you are the person who pour your heart into people that you love so if you like someone you like show them everything tell them everything what they what you love about them blah 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 so this is like very water sign energy like like um cancer pisces and scorpio like very emotional a little bit not too much but it's like you if you like someone you really want to like share do everything like tell them everything about your emotion and stuff and they like that because like they like the openness they like they like the people who who are not afraid to open themselves up to tell about their story you know like they don't like secret they don't like people who always like in secret mysterious all the time they don't like that they like they love to connect with you in the core okay even though they are a little bit mysterious sometimes but they love to share that with you they love they would love to pour their heart out as well but i feel like you are gonna be the one who like more like more opening your heart to people especially the one who love more and they like that about you they find it's very charming even like i feel like you are a pretty crier like i feel like when you cry they things is so beautiful something like that like i feel that energy as well okay so there's an earth sign energy about this as well earth sign energy capricorn uh taurus and also um virgo as well as that's a really good like strong energy of a person who are uh wanting family and very structured energy about it as well i hope you guys love this reading of harry potter style okay if you want to suggest any video please let me know as well and also if you want a private reading with me you can look in the description box and if you are new to my video please click like and subscribe i will appreciate you so much for doing that for my channel i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time bye